So uh, Sagittarius, you know the reason why this person is guarded. There's reasons why. Uh, so let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys do well. So this is your general love reading for uh, April, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. Whoa. It is timestamp, if you click on the uh, if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that, it will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates, we'll grab these, and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes, you know, could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying these cards, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in, and I'll be back. So Sagittarius, let's start your reading, and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys, and picking up as, uh, let me just make sure that this is on perfect, but picking up as this being your side, passing to you over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so just, just kind of looking at the past, Sagittarius, you, you've come to, or you came to, like I said, this is the recent past. It's like you came to some form of change in perspective um, when it comes to this person or this relationship. There's something that you see different now. You see it different now. You see things in a completely different way than how you had done before. There's something around that for you or was around that for you. And with that change came this feeling of, wanting to be okay so the repercussions of that is emotional maturity you grow in emotionally but with that comes maybe this feeling of also and i'm going to pull on that this feeling of you wanting to take things serious you know when we're dealing with the king of um, cups we're talking about this is a family man this is someone who's reliable stable your rock that type of thing so i feel like um yeah that's come into question for you in terms of you now being ready for that or you now wanting that. I feel like you, for some of you, you had to face, because we've got karma here, you had to face maybe certain things about yourself that you didn't want to maybe face in the past. And that was the key moment that helped you grow emotionally when it came to this situation. That's for some of you there. But doing that was definitely... A, a good thing because it's again it's changed you it's caused you to evolve as a person with that king you know that work that that little bit of work for some of you tough work for a lot of you as well has brought you to this place where you now see things differently you're a bit more mature emotionally where with your person it's kind of come at a point where they've now and again this is the past it's like they've made a decision they made, they, they've come to some form of decision about this. And now it's like they was on the defense. It's like, uh, I, I feel like this person has given you maybe a lot of chances in the past, Sagittarius, which is why that's showing up. This final decision. Yeah. And it seems like they were content with that, with the temperance. I feel like this person, it's like you, they, they got to a point where they can now satisfy their self that they've given you more than enough chances for them to justify them saying, okay, I'm, I'm done with this, or I'm, I'm no longer going to pursue this or continue with this. And with that came 
them, you know, protecting themselves. So maybe you try to reach out, maybe you try to communicate, maybe you try to do something and they're like, ah, oh, trying to hold you uh, at a distance with that one. Yeah. Which brings us to where it is at the moment, which is the, the five of cups. Five of cups. The five of wands. Um, yeah, tension, slight tension maybe, a bit of conflict, uh, minor challenges, minor challenges. But again, we've got the wild card here. So you've really, this is prominent, this shift, this change in how you see things is, is really um, significant for you, you know, because when you change how you see things, how you move and how you handle things change. And that's, that's what's going on for you. It's like there is this recognition of the importance this person had in your life, the impact that they had on you, the impact that they had on your life, how they made you feel. Maybe for some of you as well, you're kind of kicking yourself saying, I don't know how I didn't see this before. You know, all the mistakes I made, all the things that I didn't want to hear. Because I feel like this person maybe gave you a lot of chances for some of you as well. But there is definitely acknowledgement of that. Your challenge is, is that king, that king, that ace, which talks about you having the opportunity to build. Again, that's your challenge. This person is kind of, with the king, with the queen there, kind of got their boundaries up because they've shifted, they've changed. This could have, this could be spilled. How do I, how do I put that? This could spill over into their maybe career or other areas of their life, but there's definitely a change. This, this change could also be affecting their finances, but there's definitely a change that's happened. But when it comes to you, they're stagnant. They, 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 they're not, they're stuck. They're stuck. They've not reached the point where, yeah, they're, they're just kind of stuck. They're stuck and they're putting up their boundaries. For some of you, you could be experiencing this person just being a bit cold towards you. You know, just ignoring you sometimes, not responding, not being responsive. And that's because they've got their boundaries up. They really, really have. We're going back to this decision that this person made and being content with that finally. I get this finally type of vibe. Here. Yeah, but you know that the, the you know, has it come at a, a point where it's a bit too late? You know, maybe, maybe not, because now where you're at at the moment, it, it, you just wasn't there before. You know, for some of you, already for for, for 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 family and kids and all sorts with the Empress there. You know, really, you're really in a space where you wanted to take this serious now. And I feel like you all, you're aware that that might in itself shock this person. For some of you, it could be marriage as well. But that's definitely what you're wanting and what you're focusing on. Where with your person, we've got that seven again. We've got that seven again. We've got the seven of ones protecting their self, protecting this. And it's understandable. It's understandable given what they've possibly have gone through. And not to say that you purposely put them through it. It just so happens that this person has internalized it in a certain way. So they're very much being protective of their self. Doesn't take away from the fact that we have that ace of cups. So there's still a lot of love there. The question is, is, is this person going to be able to put down those boundaries? Are you going to be able to do enough? Are you going to be able to reach this person in a way where they're able to take a risk on this again? Because I feel like that's exactly what it would be if this person pursues or continues this is a risk for them. You know, I mean, you know, we, we can see that there's been a huge shift for you. But, you know, coming from where they're coming from based on their experience with you, you know, that, that, that they're not really seeing that just yet, just based on these cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to move into part two of the reading um, and get a fuller picture. We'll clarify these cards and see uh, whether this person is able to pull down those boundaries, whether you're able to uh, get them to be able to do that and if they're open to doing that. So part two should be showing up on the screen as we speak, guys. So click on that. Um, and I shall see you guys in a bit. 